או שוואלה לא, או שמתן תייבן. What's up guys? What's what about for team here? And today we have a bit of a, well, I guess it's a bit of a special kind of episode for you guys. We're going to open, oh man, going to open Yu-Gi-Oh! Legendary Duelist Collection 2. And we're also going to open um, this, the, one of the uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! 5D's Duelist Genesis, oh, yeah, yeah. Genesis Special Edition boxes. I actually need to get adjusted here, but while I do, I prefer Dosakis. Let me show you guys this intro right quick, so. There we go, right? And go. Should have this queued up with okay, so. of all time anime. I mean, just look at look at Kaiba, man. That is epic, bro. Like, come on. That is so epic. Uh, I say, let me play. Yeah, man. Yes, Bye, sir. Bye. Hope you enjoy. <laughs> Subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs> man, that was such a fun intro, man. But anyways, guys, anyways. Now we're going to open some packs. And uh, with the intro out of the way, let's just uh, hear some calm music, shall we? 
Alright, let us dance. Mm. I need a drink, by the way. Get a drink. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Alrighty. How you guys doing today? Doing pretty good. Today is... Let me check the date on my laptop. I actually don't know. Uh, Monday, July 29th. It's almost August, guys. Almost August. You know what that means. Back to duel. Back to school. Alright. And I know this actually has a duel with Shadi somewhere beforehand, so we're gonna cue that up. Yeah. Just for the music. Alright. And without further ado, let's open up Yu-Gi-Oh! Legendary Collection 2. Now... This set's pretty special because, um, I feel like I'm yelling, by the way. Kind of weird, but, yeah, I feel like I'm yelling. Anyway, so this collection has, like, the Legendary Collection 1 had Exodia, you know, cards from, like, Dark Crisis, Pharaoh Servant, Pharaonic Guardian, Legacy of Darkness, stuff like that. Uh, this set has the three sacred, sacred beasts and some other stuff. So, yeah, let's just look at the back here. Pretty sure you guys can see that, okay? And so let's read some of the epic things in the Dragon Ball Z announcement here. Alright, ready? In this set, time for Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Class Reunion! And the sweetest deal in history of dueling! That's sweet! Three Dark Lord cards! Now, these championship level prize cards are available to you, Duelist. Seven ultra rares. Brand new Yu Gi Oh! GX rare cards, including Elemental Hero Great Tornado and Parallel World Fusion. The three sacred beats. These three monsters were hidden that way beneath Duel Academy. That's a very short way to summarize their storyline. They also drain the energy from, like, cards themselves, which caused a lot of problems with the spirits. Card spirits, that is. Each box of Legendary Collection 2 is stuffed with five Legendary Collection 2 Mega Packs and one Game Boy. Each Mega Pack has nine cards from the Yu-Gi-Oh! GX era. One Secret Rare. One Ultra Rare. One Super Rare. One Rare. And five common cards per pack. And will Piccolo be able to train and defeat the Android 16? Find out today. Including TV favorites like Elemental Hero and Cyber Dragon Monsters. Those hot tournament cards like Gladiator Beasts and Light Swords. So, uh, yeah, um. <clears throat> sorry, I need a drink after all that. Hmm. Uh huh. So basically, I, uh, this is a pretty good set. And what time are we at? Wow, eight minutes. We might just open this set in this video and call it a day. <laughs> oh man, I didn't realize that it took that long. But yeah, how you guys doing? I'm doing this right before work, so kind of on a bit of a time crunch, but not really. So should have got my expert box opening tool. But no, I'm doing okay. Uh. Uh, as far as the channel goes, we may run into a little hiatus, and I actually posted the update, but uh, not only did my my car kind of tank on the highway, I actually lost my cell phone, which so I had like four or five videos uh, uh, recorded on that, so that sucks. Not impossible to recover, but again, it's just, uh, I'm causing myself double effort, guys. Yeah, it's... I don't know. Anyway, without further ado, let's see what we got in here. So that's what we got so far. Get your promos right here. Oh shit, a five packs. One, two, three. Yep, four, five. Okay, cool. Alright, with that, let's check out what game board we have here. So, open this box here. Set this to the side. And it should be with the three sacred beasts, right? I would imagine. Uh, let's see who we got here. Oh, we have the Duelist. Okay. So we have Zane. From right to left, we have Zane. Manjome Thunder. Yuki Judai, Jaden Yugi. Johan, Jesse Anderson. 
and Edo Phoenix. Um, what was his name in the dub? Uh, Aster Phoenix. <laughs> totally dumb. Anyway, oh yeah, and that's the side I like. Uriah on the right, Raphael right in the middle, Lord of Phantasms, and Haman, Lord of Striking Thunder. Anyways, let's open the promos and show you guys the proof. The proof of the duelist. <laughs> Alright. Ready, guys? And the promos are guaranteed. That's the nice part. I guess I could full screen this. Hang on. Let me full screen this. Yeah. Might take away some of the glare. And there we go. Much better. Alrighty. Okay, so we got Raphael. Where's my camera? There she is. Lord of Phantasms. Uriah. Haman. Lord of Striking Thunder. Oh, the promos are here. Oh yeah, Dark Lord. Asmodeus. Pretty good. Uh, Dark Lord Superbia. Yeah, I think this can special summon itself, right? Yeah, well this is special summon from the graveyard. Target a fairy. Except Dark Lord Superbia, special summon it. Pretty good card. We should have Dark Lord Parshaf, right? No, 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 this is, uh, and yeah, uh, yeah. And if it's special summon from the graveyard, it has built in piercing. That's pretty, it's pretty good. So, next we have Cyber Larva. Uh, when attacked, you take no damage. Also, you can search for copies of itself, so that's pretty cool. We have Lion Alligator. Let's do. While you control another reptile, if a reptile oh type attacks, uh, basically reptile types will have built-in piercing. Mainly, this was just a 1900 meter. I guess 2100 if you had like legendary ocean or something. Not bad. And what's this? Spawn alligator. Okay. Six stars. Never really seen this card. During the end phase of the turn, this card was tribute summoned using a reptile type. Target one monster that was used for the tribute to summon it. Eh, that's not bad, honestly. Spawn alligator. And for. We should have Great Tornado, right? Yeah. A hero and a wind. Uh. Must be fusion summoned. Cannot be special summoned other ways. Hall of the attack and defense of all monsters your opponent controls when this card is summoned. Oh, no, no. Yeah, yeah, when it's summoned, yeah. And it has 2800, so that's pretty good. That can get over anything with 5600 or less attack. That's pretty darn good. Anyway, we have Parallel World Fusion. Pretty good card. I think you guys know what that does. Dragonic Tactics. Sacrifice two dragons. And then special summon a level 8 dragon from your deck, right? Yeah, got it. And the final promo card is... What is that? I'm sorry, what is this card? Oh, Court of Justice. Interesting. Once returned, you can switch someone one fairy monster from your hand. Must control one. You must control a level one fairy type monster to activate and resolve. Huh. Interesting. That's not a bad effect. Because even if you normal summon a level one, and then switch to summon, let's say a level seven, you can synchro summon. So there you go. Not bad card back in the day. Well, I guess this was before Secret Summoning, but I'm sure there were ways to combo that <laughs> that I just can't think of right now. Anyways, let's go to the five packs. And what time? Wow, 14 minutes. 18 minutes. All right, five packs, guys. Here we go. Wish us luck, as always. And so these are kind of like the uh, uh, Kaiba legendary packs. Meaning, I think you get a secret and a super and a ultra in each one. But anyway, and we have some nice reprints here. Destiny Hero Malicious. Uh, I think this recently went to two on the ban list, but don't quote me on that. Wing Crew Level 10. Pretty good effect. Hard to, uh, it's pretty easy to see it coming, I guess is the problem though. Light of Redemption. Yep, pay 800 points. Target of a Banish Light. Add it to your hand. Not bad. And we have, is that Tempest? Yes! Elemental Hero Tempest. I love Tempest. So, A Beyond, plus a pinch of Spark, man. And let's throw in some Bubble Man, and we have Tempest. Nice. Pretty good card. 
Alright, so that's our super. Let's see, the ultra is... Is that Bersinitrix? Alternate art? Wow, that's the secret, actually. Nice. A flame manipulator who was the first elemental hero woman. Her burst fire burns away the villainy. Man, that looks pretty cool. Alright, we have Mirror Gate. Pretty good trap. Uh, if a hero you, that you have battles an opponent's monster, the mirror gate will make them switch sides for that battle only. Rosebud. Fusion Recovery. Oh, Oversoul. There we go. And that's it. Okay. So that's it for the first pack. Pretty good overall, I must say. Alrighty. And second pack. What's just up, guys? Uh, what do I ro really want to pull out of here? Well, now that I pulled Tempest, I really, 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 really want to pull Elemental Hero Flame Wing Dash, just for the nostalgia. <laughs> uh, let's see, we got Ruby Carbuncle, or I guess, uh, what you call it, the uh, Ultimate Crystal Beast card. Um, why can't I not think of it right now? The Crystal Dragon? Rainbow Dragon. Yeah, Rainbow Dragon would be pretty cool as well. As would Cyber End Dragon. So, we have Terra Firma. Super. For the secret, we have... Nice! Malicious Edge. It's a really good card. Evil Hero. So, if your opponent controls a monster, you can tribute this card with one tribute. Uh, and it, it has built-in piercing 2600. Pretty good card back in the day. Not so much now, but... Crystal Tree, Ultra, actually pretty good uh, Crystal Beast support right there. And we have Poison Rose, eh, Poison Rose kind of, eh, not too good of a card, but hey, we got it, so. Cyclone Moonbrain, Destiny Hero Dunker, and with this you pitch a Destiny Hero card to inflict 500 burn damage. Eh, might help you finish someone off. Or hey, if you go into time, there you go. Uh, <laughs> Crystal Beast, Cobalt Eagle, and that's it for that pack. Alright, what time are we at? 17 minutes? 18 minutes? Alright. Alright. And I guess for this opening, we're just going with Don and Destiny music. Hey, that's cool by me. Uh, Nails Force. You know what's weird about Nails Force? I believe this card only stays on the field for one turn. Let me see. Neos is dead, destroys inflict damage. Yeah, during the end phase, shuffle this card into the deck. It's like, what? Why does this, like, do that? I don't... Ah, uh, I don't know. Man, some of the Neos cards were so bad. Dark Panther. But out of all the Neos cards, I would say Dark Panther, probably one of the best ones. So, anyways, we have Return of the Six Samurai. Wait, Six Sam's are in here? That's interesting. And for the Ultra... Nice! Did we get Dogma? Oh, dude. Dogma is cool. Look at that. Look at that. Destiny Hero Dogma. So, three tributes, including at least one Destiny Hero, right? Yeah, yeah. Meaning you can sacrifice, like, scapegoat tokens. Basically, you need that at least one Destiny uh, Hero to get it out. Let's see. Yep. If you still control this face-up card... During your opponent's next standby phase, after you summoned it, haul for your opponent's life points. That is pretty good. And for the secret, we have... Is that Destiny Draw? Dude, that's probably one of the better cards out of the set to pull is Destiny Draw. Wow, that's actually pretty good. Uh, still playable, sort of. Uh, Shooting Doji. Actually, another pretty good card. It has uh, two effects, and both of them are really good. So, And we have, oh, Hero Flash. So yeah, the commons out of here are not really playable. Or at least the ones we're getting. But hey, we're getting good luck with the Ultras. And we have Shredos. Nice. Free my brother Shredos. And hey, brother, you are now free. I think this recently went to two on the ban list. Crazy stuff, I know. Dread Serpent, Destiny Hero. And that is it for that one. Alright, two packs left, guys, and I need a little drink for you. So, Whew. Yeah, that's the one thing I've learned about pack openings. Is that with the style I do it, there's always a lot of talking, so. Yep. Yeah. 
always good to take at least three or three or four water breaks with pack opening, so. I'm sorry if I sound a little groggy, but again, like I said, I just woke up. Wanted to get this done before work, so. <laughs> anyway. Uh next pack. What's this like? Alrighty. And what do we have here? Is that Cyclone Blade? I think it is. Yeah, Cyclone Blade. We have Thunder Giant. Not bad. Not bad. Still want that Flame Wingman, though. And we have Edge Hammer. And what do we got? Is that Rainbow Nails? Yeah, it is. Um, kind of hard to pull off. But if you do, it has some really good effects. So, there you go. And for the secret, we have Phantom Sky Blaster, and not a really good secret. Yep, not gonna lie, but eh, we got it, so. Ah, nice, that kind of makes up for it, okay. So we got e Elemental Hero Electrum, and that's Clay Man plus Bubble Man plus Avion plus. Who did I miss? Burst Entrance, there we go. Yeah, I got it. Yep, also treated as wind, wire, water, fire, and earth while on the field. When this is card is fusion summon, shuffle all banished cards into the deck. So hey, hero players, if you're going up against that annoying Grim Maju deck, this is your guy. <laughs> card gains 300 attack for each monster your opponent controls that shares an attribute with this card. So basically, as long as this effect is working right, uh, as long as your opponent has, like, Cards that are not dark type, this card's gonna get boosted, so that's pretty good. Yep, at least by 300. Most likely anywhere from 900 to, you know, 600. It's probably the normal. Bubble Shuffle. Again, not a very good common, but I'd say this is better than the other two or three we pulled, though. Offering to Snake Deity, that's actually a really good card. Uh, Elemental Hero, Wild Wingman. Does this destroy spell and traps? Let me see. Yeah, you can pitch a card to destroy one spell or trap. Not bad, honestly. Not bad. And is this once per turn? Uh, no. This is not once per turn. So, hey, Ojama players. This is your guy. <laughs> uh, and that is it for that pack. Alright, guys. What will we pull in the last pack? Hey, hopefully we pull, like... I don't know. Hopefully we pull something from Zane, like... I don't know, man. Something like Cyber End Dragon or something. Or, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe maybe we'll get that playing Wing Man, guys. I don't know. But, yeah, this is the last pack. Wish me luck. And we have Lady Heat. Not bad. She does a little bit of burn damage. Hero Mask. Uh, Phenomenon. Do, do, do. Phenomenon. Oh, man. Reptiles. Reptiles. Reptiles need some good support, man. They just can't get any. What do we got? Yes! 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 Oh, that feels good. Last pack, guys. Oh, yes. Yeah, can you feel that, buddy? I have exercised the demon. This house is clean. Get him out of here, loser! Let's go, Ace. Losers. <laughs> Elemental Hero, my favorite card. Flame Wingman. Dun, 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 dun. All right, and let's read it. Elemental Hero Avion plus Burst Cinetrix has to be fusion summoned and not special summoned. Otherwise, uh, when this card destroys a monster by battle and sends it to the graveyard, inflict damage to your opponent equal to the attack of the destroyed monster. Great card, man. Great card. And we have, is that Kasha? Nice! That's actually a really good Ultra Rare. Wow. And we have D-Time. Actually a pretty good, uh, pretty good common. Probably the best one we've had so far, so. Uh, anyways, we ran out of time. Let me scroll back to the deck edit. <laughs> and then I'll probably finish this for this tool. But, uh, uh, next we have Gateway of the Six. We have Hero Blast, not a bad trap card. And we have Hero Burst Tricks in the regular artwork. So, yeah, there we go, guys. That is the opening. And, uh, yeah, let's just uh, hold up some of my more favorites of the rares. 
And of course, Elements of Hero Flame Wingman is going to the front. You already know that. So yeah, let's get the promos. Actually, let's just get the Sacred Beast promos as well. I'll take for the final kind of showing off of the sets. But yeah, overall, hey, not bad. Uh, I was kind of hoping, like I said, I was kind of hoping we would pull Flame Wingman. And uh, man, talk about epic. Uh, we waited until the last pack, and we pulled it, so, hey, pretty cool stuff, man, pretty cool. Oh yeah, Malicious Edge, that's also really good, so. But yeah, I want to thank you guys for joining me, and, uh, yeah, feel free to subscribe if you like the Yu-Gi-Oh, you know, kind of opening stuff, and, uh, yeah, stay tuned for more. We'll throw a Parallel World Fusion in there, too. But, uh, yeah, just to, uh, recap and or highlight... Let's see. We're gonna go. We're gonna go like this to recap highlights. Parallel world. Asmodeus. Some of these are promos. Some of these are pulls. And yep. But yeah, uh, feel free to subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Tempest, Malicious Edge, Stratos, Shooting Doji, Destiny Draw, Dogma. <laughs> Gotta love Dogma. Rainbow Nails. Raviel, the three sacred beasts there. That's always really cool. <laughs> and we have Great Tornado, Phenomenon, and my boy, Flame Wingman. <laughs> my favorite card. Kasha. Actually, really good. Parallel World. Again, some of these are promos, but the Dark Lords. There we go. Three Dark Lords. First Intertrix. Secret. Looks pretty cool, honestly, with that artwork. Tempest and Malicious Edge and Stratos, so uh, there we go. But yeah, guys, uh, that's it for the opening. Uh, thanks for watching with me, and hope you enjoyed, because I know I did. But uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. <laughs> there we go. Got a lot of them in the spread there. <laughs> Gotta have that flame wingman, though. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> oh, man. Ooh, post-credits. Wow, post-credits. That was, a. Uh... Ooh, man, summer. Ooh, post-credits. Gosh, it is hot in here. Why is it so hot in here, man? Ooh. Gosh. Oh, man. I am trying too hard, I tell you. Ooh. That went pretty good, though. I think, uh... Now, I might be wrong, but I think, uh... Flame Wingman, out of the set, I think it's still worth about... I mean, just because it's secret and everything, I think it's still worth... It doesn't really see much playability, but... I want to say Flame Wingman out of the set... I mean, just because it's so highly sought after, you know, Jaden played it. It's like Dark Magician, basically. It's like having Dark Magician, you know, as a fusion card. But basically, I think Flame Wingman is still in the $25 range. I could be wrong about that. It's been some time since I looked at the set, but yeah, the fact that it's secret and that it's like probably one of Jaden's like main. I guess the the only other card that would have been more valuable out of the set would perhaps be uh, Rainbow Dragon, your Cyber End, or. Ooh, is Plasma in the set? Blue D? Nah, I think Plasma is in the set. Uh, that would probably be worth more, or the most, is Plasma. Just because not only is it viable in tournaments and stuff, uh, but it's, of course, popular thanks to Edo. Or uh, Astro Phoenix. <laughs> That's such a dumb name. But yeah, Flame Wing Win, hey, definitely a close second, and I will take it, man. <laughs> Man, this is the first copy I've owned of Flame Wingman in a while. I actually owned quite a few copies, but they all got stolen back in uh, junior high. It sucks, I know. I mean, a lot of people I talk to have the same experience. It's just like, yeah, yeah, I used to love Yu-Gi-Oh! and did this and did this. and then Oh, and then they got stolen. So that made me like any time I see a card, that memory is, that, that memory is triggered. Like, oh, man, I used to have these cards and I paid money for them or card for the money. But then they get stolen. I'm just like, man, I feel you there. 
that was the hardest part for me, honestly, as far as sticking with Yu-Gi-Oh, like sticking with it. The fact that I had, you know, so many get stolen and then to have to come back and say, you know what, I'm going to buy some more, but I'm going to be like really, really strict about who I let see them. So see the cards and uh, yeah, to this day, that's worked out pretty well. Just, I mean, you have to be absolutely strict, bro. I mean, because there are some, there are some uh, sneaky people out here, man. So, anyway, I'm not saying you shouldn't trust anybody, but you shouldn't trust someone if you just met them for the first time. But that's the way most duels go, right? That's kind of part of the problem is, like, most of the time you, if you get into a duel, it's with someone you've never actually met before. So, kind of hard, but, yeah, yeah, there's a right way. There's a right way. Oh, man. Yeah, I don't know why I rambled on about that post credits, but yeah, I did. So there you go. Yeah. All right. And we got the three sacred beasts. Yeah, man. Heck yeah. <laughs> All right, I think that's good for post credits. Um, news. I did need to let you guys know that um, I did lose an important episode of Nightmare Troubadour. Um, should I just spoil what happened in that episode? Okay, so long story short, nothing exciting happened in the episode. So I think I'm gonna just, uh, not worry about re-recording it. Because I could, technically, because I saved before and after with the save states. But, really, the duels weren't that exciting. But, just a heads up, when we get back into Nightmare Troubadour, like, you'll suddenly see that I went from... I don't know, what is it, level 6, 580 EXP to suddenly like, oh, 720 level 6. I mean, that's the only difference. And you'll see that I got a new card. Not going to spoil what that card is because it's a really good card. But, I mean, like I said, I lost my phone. Haven't been able to find it in about 10 days. So we're just going to call those episodes a wash. I also um, did... An episode of Duels of the Roses, and thankfully I didn't rake up or get a three in a row rare. Nothing too important happened, but I did do about three duels um, in that one recording session. So um, the problem there is also I just I just recently after I lost my phone, I created a backup save, but before that I have only had one save one you know, memory card for the PS2, so it's not like I can go back in time and unsave the progress, you know what I mean, and, uh, in Duelist of the Roses, um, so we're just going to continue, uh, thankfully, like I said, I didn't rank up anything, really, so, um, I did get a couple good trap cards, though, so that's unfortunate that you kind of missed my reaction, I guess you could say. Uh, then again, I might be able to recover those files. Eh, I might just I might, I might, might just be like, eh, you know what, whatever. I've already spoiled what happened in those episodes, so let's just move on. Um, but yeah, in other news, we will be on hiatus, um, probably for another, hmm, today's the 28th, right? Yeah, we're probably going to be on hiatus until school comes back. Now, I know that's a long hiatus. That's like three weeks till school starts again. But that should give me, because I've really been pushing myself to the limit, guys. No lie. And I'm really, quite honestly, I'm really tired. Uh, <laughs> you know, obviously, I'm recording this right before work. And I just haven't been able to sleep um, as the... Uh, absolute truth I haven't been able to sleep and that's kind of affected some things but um yeah uh, I'll be okay yeah I'll be okay overall so don't worry about that but I think a three-week hiatus will you know just a vacation from YouTube so to speak and maybe even Facebook too I think that'll do me some good yeah maybe maybe two weeks maybe two and a half you know two and a half yeah mm -hmm. 
But yeah, thanks guys for watching. And hey, if you listen to the post credits, uh, you're a real troop. You're a good friend. I seriously because you know most of the times when we get to post credits, people just cut out and yeah, most of the time it's jokes and most of the time it's you know it's whatever. But uh, you got some important news there this time in post credits. So. Maybe I'll leave a comment, like in bold, all caps, like, important news in post-credits. Stay tuned for more. And subscribe. <laughs> mm. uh, yeah. Uh, what? Any other thing that I need? Oh, is it really that, is it really that time? Oh, man. I need to stop this. Uh, wait, wait, wait. I, I just had a train of thought. I think there was one more thing I needed to announce. Oh, um, should I announce that? Cause I hate making promises I can't keep. Okay, I'll announce it. Uh, darn it, the final video I recorded on that phone, my cell phone that I lost, Pokemon Emerald. Just my luck, right? Well, I hadn't felt in the mood to play Pokemon Emerald with, you know, Mega Me, and, man, it's like that was my first LP, right, was it, I don't know, but, yeah, I had, like, six episodes of that recorded on my phone, and now it's, hmm, but well, the funny thing is, is that I backed up that save, uh, because I had basically created a uh, copy file on my on my computer and stuff, uh, and with a backup cartridge is what I did. Uh, I just ordered a backup cartridge from uh, like Amazon or something, and you know did the porting, and so I can go back to where we were, which is uh, basically right before Fall Arbor Town, I think. Uh, man, what sucks is that. Like, that had some good commentary. It really did. Those six episodes, I was excited to be back. You know, I was getting in the swing of things. I was getting, like, a little bit salt. I was getting a lot salty. I was getting pretty salty because of the... Oh, and we had the gym fight. Man, the gym fight. Yeah, I was pretty salty over that gym fight. I lost the gym fight with an all-water team. I was like, are you kidding me? Are you freaking, but, you know, Flannery with that tar call and the attract basically made me unable to attack every time, so it was crazy, man. That was the craziest gym fight, and now it's gone, so, well, any guys, any guys, any guys way, uh, I probably better, hmm. Yeah, that's going to wrap it up for post-credits. Uh, thank you for staying tuned for the news and being awesome. Uh, but yeah, I will see you guys. Um, I might be able to do a recording on Thursday night. But yeah, other than that, probably going to be about a two or three week hiatus. Sorry, but hey, just the way it's got to be. At least I'm telling you guys this time, though. I mean, that's, that's new. And it's kind of weird, but anyway. Later. See you in two weeks. Vacation. Vacation. Yeah. Bye. Subscribe.